I would like to know what's the relation in your early videos between psychologies and the camera. So the psychology is cognitive psychology. It's obviously not clinical psychology. And so it's about a, you know, the development of the mind in relationship to, uh, well, one of the things I studied was the evolution of the senses. So through primitive animals, how the eye developed, how the brain developed in more primitive animals, what's the response? Because our brains really limit our understanding of what the imp uh, input is. Like we have tremendous amount of input through the eyes and the brain limits all that. Yes. And so I was interested in how the brain limits it and what, what are the parameters of our understanding and how that relates. So often in the, in the first videotapes I did, I would show that if you take a camera and walk through a space, you see the, everything changing and you see walls going up and down like that. But if I walk through a space, I think of the space and of me walking through it, not what I'm seeing, but I conceptualize it. Yeah. So I can see my body walking through it and not seeing the walls shifting back and forth and up and down in my And also the eye is constantly moving, but I conceptualize that everything is still. Is, this is all made of atoms and it's probably trans porous, but I conceptualize that it's still. And then uh, a lot of cognitive psychology is how the way we perceive changes, develops, yeah. how we understand certain yeah. situations, so that was interesting to me. But a lot of the intent was to understand how we relate to um, electronics, um, how we perceive ourselves through electronics, how we perceive ourselves in the world. So the very first piece I did, one of the first was interface, which is an interface between our mirror reflection, how a video camera sees us and put the two of them together. But then, if you go to the next level, yes. the next level is that we see, perceive ourselves beyond our immediate understanding, and so we see almost a ghost image of ourselves. Yes. And some other pieces we see a shadow image of ourselves. Exactly. So almost a painting. What? I'm sorry. Almost a painting. Yes, I, you know, I started painting in 14 and I always liked it. I mean, I always had that in mind. And my education was through painting. And uh, in psychology, they were using camera in that period too, no? No, I don't think so. In the 70s? Well, I studied in the 50s. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it's interesting also to notice that in reality show today, people are filmed and they speak in front of the camera. So it's an, another psychologic use of the camera today on TV, which is something related to your early works. Yes. It's also we have a lot of surveillance, you know, that we have to understand that so we walk down the street, we're probably in three or four different cameras, and then, you know, as we go from one corner to the next, uh, particularly so, in London. <laughs> so all that is very visionary, huh? Yes. So sh would, should I tell you what's happening next? <laughs> <laughs> in, in next century? Merci. <laughs>